Good afternoon, Colorado. Welcome to today's episode of Local Biz Buzz. I'm your host, Larry Herbs, and today in studio, all the way from this neighborhood, I have Austin from 505 Southwestern. Welcome. Thank you for having me, Larry. My pleasure. So, uh, you know, of course, 505, everybody thinks New Mexico, and obviously the green chilies aren't grown here in Greenwood Village, but you're headquartered right here. We're headquartered here, but we do source all of our green chili from the Hatch Valley in New Mexico, and it's all manufactured in Albuquerque. And but let's start right at the beginning. Uh, we're hitting the 25-year anniversary. When and where and why did that start? So 25 years ago, Roy Solomon had a restaurant down in Albuquerque, and he started selling green chili because his customers wanted it. So this was 25 years ago. We've been involved in the business since 2008 and have grown it nationwide. So you can now buy our green chili from here and even at Wembley Stadium in London. Come on. Seriously. They, they know what green chili is in London? <laughs> they do. They do from all across the U.S. and in London. And what's your role with the company? I am a brand ambassador. So okay. I just meet with nice people like you to promote our product and make sure everybody knows that our green chili makes everything taste better. It really does. So... Um, before you even came on the show, I mean, there's always a jar in my house um, of a couple of different products. I I'm, love it on eggs. It's just, to me, it's like the peanut butter and jelly things that go together. Your green chili on eggs is just perfect. I like to hear burrito. that, Larry. Yeah. <laughs> you have a ton of different products. Before we get into them, let's talk about the recipe contest that you're doing. It's really neat. Yes. Yeah, so to celebrate our 25 years, we are having a recipe contest. People can submit their recipes. It can be anything, as long as it includes one of our products. Submit the recipe online. It's going through June. The winner is going to receive $2,500 and a VIP trip to New Mexico for our big 25th anniversary party. So if they're in New York and they win, you don't fly them, do you? We do. What? Yes. So no matter where you are, you get a trip to Albuquerque for our big celebration. It's actually at one of Roy Solomon's restaurant developments. It's going to be an awesome party. So it's going to be with the founder of 505, huge VIP event. And no matter where you're from, we'll fly you there to take part. Anywhere in the world? Great. Sure. <laughs> wow, 2,500 plus a trip to New Mexico? <laughs> and it's That's... easy to submit your recipe. You just submit it online at our website, 505southwestern.com. You've got some recipes here, right? We do. So I just wanted to show you a couple easy ways to use different kinds of 505. Love it. Elevate your everyday. It makes everything taste better. Here I've got just a frozen burrito. Okay. Delicious, but I will say it's even more delicious if you put a little bit of our flavor yeah. roasted green chili on there. Pour just away. Just add some flavor. You ready, Shane? You can't go wrong. See, now that looks delicious. Yeah, it really did. It looked like it was missing something. Not to mention, this product is so clean. It's non-GMO. It only has three ingredients. Super healthy, a lot of vitamin C. Like, why wouldn't you top everything with some green chili? I don't know. <laughs> People think it's it's too spicy. That's what sometimes and you it's have. It's really not. No. I mean, this one, if you want to eat it on a chip, I know plenty of people who do, but I use it more as an ingredient. So you can add as much or as little as you like. I will admit, the hot actually is hot. <laughs> And, and most, you know, brands, and they say hot, it's really not hot, but your hot is hot. It makes me sweat, which well, is what I want. If it says it's hot, you it's, want it to be hot, yes, right? Yes, so That's I'd why we offer mild, medium, and hot in a lot of our products, so that you can choose. Yeah. All right, you got, you want to zest up this uh, guacamole? So guacamole, our favorite thing to do at home. I have a 12-year-old and a 2-year-old daughter. They eat this. They love just avocado smashed up with our sweet and spicy salsa. Okay. So we're going to add a little bit of this, or a lot, depending on how you like it. And it gives it a little bit of a different flavor profile. But like I say, everyone in the family from 2 to um, 35 loves it. So Go ahead and have a try if you'd like. All right, what'd you do with the shrimp tacos? Shrimp tacos, we have a pineapple mango salsa. Which that I've not tried yet. And... I just sauteed some shrimp with this and you cook it down. It almost makes a nice glaze. This is a great glaze on pork. So you, you but this cook, for the, you cook the I sauce. cooked the shrimp in this sauce. Yeah, you could always just pour it on, but it'd you be better. You can always to... pour it on, but I just cooked it in the sauce so it gets yeah. even more so of that flavor. It caramelizes. Flavor. I think that might be my lunch today. That looks and good. And finally, we did a chicken taco. One of the easiest things you can do with our product, the green chili sauce, which is one that comes in mild, medium, and hot. Throw some chicken breasts in a crock pot, put it on low heat, let it cook all day, shred the chicken at the end of the day. Here you've got tacos with the green chili sauce. 
It's delicious, easy. Everybody loves it. You should enter these into the contest. Maybe you could win. Some of these are already on our website, <laughs> so I don't know if I'm eligible to enter, but there have been some really unique submissions. I mean, 505 really does make everything taste better, and I saw a submission yesterday where somebody had made fried ice cream with green chili, and it looked delicious. I, I would totally go for and that. You wouldn't think of ice cream and green chili, but, you know, it goes with the sweet and spicy. Sweet and spicy, and then the, the creaminess of the, of the ice cream will help take off that spice off your tongue. It's a brilliant combination. Love this little recipe book you got here too. We offer that on our website as well to just give people some more creative ideas on how to use 505. Like there's a watermelon salad in there with 505. We've got summer coming up and Memorial Day. It's delicious. There's so, so many ways <laughs> to use green chili that you just wouldn't naturally think of. It's more than a salsa and a condiment. There's just so much you can do with it. So how many different products do you have? Goodness, more than 20. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A can, lot. Can people find all 20 here in Colorado? Here in Colorado, you can find them between King Supers and Safeway, Walmart, Costco. You can find our product in all of those stores. Is there a way to look up to see what stores have what products? On our website, yes, at 505southwestern.com. Well, that's easy. And there's a lot of recipes on the website. And if you follow us on Instagram, you can see some of these recipe contest submissions. I'm thinking about submitting. I got this uh, Mexican lasagna that I do. And uh, it uses several different products in each layer, and it really works. So what's the downside? Can't wait to see your recipe. <laughs> <laughs> There's no downside. You order, you might win the $2,500 and the trip. There's also a People's Choice Award that'll be voted by the public. That winner gets $1,000 and a year's supply of 505. Neat. Do we forget anything? No. Yeah. Do you have salsas? All right. Let's talk about some salsas. Um, let's just start over here. So the green chili sauce. Green chili sauce is awesome on eggs, or that's the one that you can throw with some meat in the crock pot to make a delicious shredded chicken for a taco. Comes in mild, medium, and hot. Smother your burritos in this. It's a great smothering sauce. It's yeah. delicious. I melt uh, queso in it, and then I just take my chips and have a good time. That's one of our best sellers. The pineapple mango here, this is yeah. one of our newer ones. And this, you can eat it on a chip, and it's delicious on a chip, but it's also a great grilling sauce or a marinade or reduce it down to a glaze and finish your meat with it. This one's got lime in it. That one has lime. It's delicious on a chip. Also good as a marinade because that acid. Is there any of these that would not be good on a chip? <laughs> no, not in my mind. I mean, sometimes some people find the flame roasted to be a little strong on a chip. Mm. It's more of an ingredient. But diehard green chili fans love it on chips as well. Sweet and spicy, you know, we put it in our guacamole. This one is also a great grilling sauce, just a different flavor profile, great on a chip. Salsa verde, more of a chip or a marinade. Do, do other states feel the way we do about green chili? Like green chili, here's a category. You know, you've got hot dogs, hamburgers, green chili. We're trying to spread the word. Okay. That's like part of our mission is to make sure that people as far east as you know, New York and Florida understand what is green chili and how do you use it? Because I think that's the hesitation with a lot of people is they're not used to the ingredient. Yeah. No, but now I, you I, go to restaurants and you see hatch green chili. In New York? Possibly in New York. <laughs> I know that like a lot of, some of the fast food chains, like Whataburger has a green chili burger that mm. you can get. And that's, I've seen that in Florida for sure. So hatch green chili is a premium ingredient that you're seeing pop up on more and more restaurant menus. And we're trying to educate people as well. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you. Thanks Pleasure for coming in. Pleasure to meet in. you as well. I will not be here till Tuesday, so you're, you got a vacation for me. Everybody happy about that? Thought you would be. Uh, I'm going to the Indy 500 this weekend. Good for you. Yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah, nice little Memorial Day vacation. Uh, but we'll be back at this again next week, and we're booked till mid-July, so I guess the show's not going anywhere. Well, thanks for having us, Larry. My pleasure. Let's eat! <laughs> That's a 10. Nice. That's